Hi guys, just a quick message um, concerning the Bible. The Bible says Jesus only taught in parables, okay? So what this means is what he's saying is not what he is saying. When he says a sower goes into the field and sows a seed, he's not talking about a farmer and he's not talking about an actual seed. If you study the Bible a bit, you'll come to the understanding that the seed is a thought, right? And you are the sower of that seed. You release the seed, that thought. So we have two trees in Genesis. We have the tree of life, which is the mind of God. And we have the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is the mind of man, his own ideas. So the Bible says, be led by the thoughts of God and do not lean on your own will and understanding. When you are led by the thoughts of God, you sow a seed into your heart, your mind, that is life and life in abundance. When you rely on your own will and understanding, you sow a seed that leads to death, decay and destruction. So Galatians 6, 7 says whatever a man soweth and that alone he will reap it's a mind thing it's nothing to do in the natural that is why jesus taught in parables he spoke figuratively in the spirit not for you to understand it in the natural so the main thing i want to show you here is if jesus was uh, teaching about hell and he taught in parables what is it a comparison of now, if you go study the word hell, it is ha'idu, which means no sight. So, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3, that the man that is under the law, it's a picture of his flesh, his own will and understanding, is veiled, he's blinded by his own ideas, okay? So, no sight or darkness means I am veiled from spiritual truth. When I am led by my own will and understanding, I have no spiritual revelation. Meaning, for example, Ephesians 2 says, you are now seated in heaven. You are already seated. You're not trying to get to heaven. It says you are seated there. What does heaven look like? Is there sin? No. Is there sickness? No. Is there poverty? No. Is there demon, devil, judgment? None of these things exist in heaven. And you are already seated in the finished work in heaven. The question is, are you thinking in alignment with heaven, the thoughts of God? Or are you thinking in alignment with, with what man is seeing and saying? Are you leaning upon your own will and understanding? When you experience hell in the natural, it is a manifestation of your own beliefs. It's not a place you're going to to burn. It's not the place you go to because, well, of unbelief. You experience it because of unbelief in what heaven looks like. I'll use one example. In heaven, there's no lack. There's no poverty. So if you are experiencing poverty or lack, your mind is fallen. You have fallen from grace or you have been kicked out of the Garden of Eden. The place of perfect pleasure. Okay. So you are going according to what you see in the natural. Your confidence is in your own strength. Your confidence is not in the thoughts of God. When you learn to put your confidence or your faith in the thoughts of God, in due season it will bear fruit. So it takes some time because you have been practicing this thing in the literal your whole life. You've always been taught in the literal. Now, when you put your faith in heaven, in the thoughts of God for you, the plans he has for you, and you come in agreement with heaven despite what you are seeing in the natural, you will start seeing heaven on earth. That is what Jesus prayed. Thy kingdom come, which is thy government, thy way of doing things, on earth as it is in, in heaven. So let that which is in your head, in your mind, manifest on the earth. The problem is you are manifesting your own ideas and you are not manifesting the thoughts of God. I hope this helps someone. Cheers.